Hey, what's up? I'm going to be paying off my 2024 Honda CRV. I owe about 2,500 on it, and it would be free and clear. I wouldn't have any car payments after that, and my insurance is pretty low. I project that it would cost me around $900 a year to insure that Honda CRV. Sally is selling her Model 3. It's a 2019 a long range all wheel drive. It has about less than 68,000 miles on it. Trade in value is about 18,000. And I'm considering buying this where I could just buy a brand new Tesla Model 3. And it would be super expensive. The tax credits, they end on the 15th. If I wanted to pick up the new one, I would have to either sell my car privately, I would have to get the title, and it would be pretty tight. We'll see how it works out. If I don't want a car payment, I would have to keep either the 2019, I would have to buy this one, or just keep my Honda. Most likely, I will want to switch to Tesla just to experience and learn what it's like to have an EV. These are the benefits to having an EV is I can use a phone for the key or I can use a key card. I don't have to carry around a fob and the key fob. I would have to think about the battery. Also to turn on the vehicle of a Tesla, all you have to do get in the vehicle, stop on the brakes and then it turns on. If you want to turn it off, you just get out, close the door, and then it automatically locks. It automatically turns off the vehicle versus my Honda. It's so quiet that I left it on a couple times. I forgot to turn it off. I would need a dash cam because a Tesla, it comes with cameras and it has sentry mode. It does drain the battery. Uh, my Honda, I already have a Venture N4 hardwire and the camera, it's already installed. Uh, for the turning signals on the Tesla, if you just touch the, the turning signal on the 2019, you don't have to pull it down all the way. You just tap it and it turns on versus the CRV, you have to pull it down all the way or just manually hold it. Tesla has better acceleration, the Honda is mad slow. Tesla has better handling, Honda has better paint and quality in general. Also for this 2019, it has paint protective film. It was mainly charged at home and it's pretty quick for what it is. The battery score is pretty good. There's less maintenance. I think that I would just have to change the filters, AC filter, cabin filter, those kinds of things. If I were to buy this Tesla, I wouldn't have to deal with a dealership anymore. And technically for my Honda, I would be losing because I prepaid for maintenance. So I would be losing money on that. Uh, also for cars in general, if I wanted to buy a performance Tesla, I could order it and I could have it. Versus if I wanted a GT3-4 or something like that, or a Toyota Super Manual, those kinds of vehicles, they may or may not be in stock, and those cars are marked up as well. Obviously, this may get boring, but then there's trade-offs in terms of like the self-driving and all that. Customers, so... This has a larger screen than the Tesla. It has software updates versus in the Honda, it's pretty small. Everything's marked up at the Honda dealership. Hardware updates, I think for this, if I did get full self-driving, I wonder if I got it for a month, would they upgrade the cameras and the hardware? I'm curious. Also, this is all-wheel drive. It would be my first all-wheel drive vehicle. I've only driven front-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive cars. I've never, well, I, I did drive it. I, I just never owned an all-wheel drive car. 
on this one, the new one, it comes with cool seats. I never had cool seats before. This has adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist. It's assisted, so no, nothing is 100%, but for sure the Tesla is way better than what the Honda is offering. And this is what her car looks like. Sally, she just got a wrap with tints. It looks pretty nice. This is a standard model. And I, I pretty much priced everything out. If I wanted to lease it with $4,000 down, it would cost about, about $840 a month. And it would cost about a little over $10,000 a year for a, a three year lease. And if I had to pay a lot of money for insurance, it would cost $1,135.73 and around $3,600 a year. If I wanted to finance it, it would cost around $888.58, around $10,500 a year. And if I had to pay high insurance, it would cost about $1,175.73 and around $14,108.76 a year. For the three years, I would most likely, if I had to finance it, I could put 30K down, what I would be getting for my CRV. I think for KBB, if I tried to sell it, I could get around, you know, 32, 34 maybe. It would take some time, but I think since the Tesla tax credits, they're ending on the 15th, I would have to make my decision. What do you guys think? Should I just keep my Honda or should I buy this 2019 Tesla Model 3 long range all wheel drive? And I wouldn't have any payments. I would have money left over to invest in Fidelity Bitcoin or you know Tesla stock. Or I could just buy a brand new vehicle. Uh, my payments would be around twelve hundred dollars a month, which is <laughs> which would be expensive. It would be the most expensive car that I, I, I would buy. I would like to to know what what you guys did. How did you guys decide on what you bought in the comments down below? Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a good evening.